Hello everyone out there, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it's Christmas Eve and I have a candle burning and I also have, I wish you could be here so that you could smell. Um, I have what I call a Christmas um, charcuterie, I guess, uh, on an old cut crystal um, plate that belonged to my grandmother. I made these kind of Christmas cookies, gingerbread and shortbread, um, because, well, I felt like it, and because I wanted to practice that recipe, and <laughs> because, um, you know, it's nice to have something a little bit special at this time of year to kind of nibble on throughout the day. <laughs> um, so if you were here, I would share it with you. Um, it's my first Christmas, uh, no longer being married or with my family. Uh, so it's a bit strange, it's a bit quiet, um, it's a bit, um, I, I guess just a little, little bit lonely. Um, not that I'm unaccustomed to being lonely or alone in general, um, but I just wanted to make this video to say that I'm thinking about you and that, um, that uh, even though there's so much emphasis put on this time of year, this you know particular day, um, if you're in a you know a karmic Christmas or they are in a karmic Christmas, you know, just do your best. Don't worry about that. Treat it like any other day, and just remember that things need to be the way that they are, and that's okay. I know that that's not what our egos and our minds, what that's not what they want to hear, but it's the truth. Things are the way they are for reasons that we don't often understand or see, um, but we must accept that they are the way they are. So if you're feeling down, just, um, you know, get in touch with friends, reach out to others around you, and, um, you know, just be, mm, I guess, receptive to energy out there that's positive, and it will kind of come to you. You know, I, I happened to talk with my neighbor um, yesterday because I brought him this plate of cookies and and um, he likes my baking, so I thought I would share these kind of more special cookies that I don't normally have around. And he was grateful and it was very nice. It was a nice moment to just catch up and see what's going on with, you know, with his life and what he's doing at this time of year and all that fun stuff. Um, and it was a nice sort of break from feeling a little bit blue myself. Uh, I am definitely thinking about all of you out there who are in the same boat as me, who are really wishing that we could be with that other person over there, um, but we can't for whatever reasons are making that impossible right now. Um, and yeah, Again, I'll say, you know, I say it all the time. I know it's old hat, but but um, <clears throat> do take this as an opportunity to relax, do whatever you want, even if that means sitting in your pajamas, watching all kinds of old movies that you've watched 10,000 times at this time of year, or whatever you want to watch, you know, or, or whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, you know, sit and eat a bag of chips and watch Home Alone or something, you know, like, don't feel bad about it. 
do whatever you want to do have a hot bath have a a long walk you know whatever will kind of keep your spirits up rather than sitting and you know feeling sad and angry and upset uh, about things that we cannot control and we cannot change just focus on you know i can't control that i can't change that and that's okay it's uh it's not about oh i can't control it it's about i can't control that and that's fine because as much as we can try and control things you know it never the they never want to work out the way you know we want them to you know when it's not meant to happen it's not meant to happen so um Use this as an opportunity to accept and be in the current situation that you're in and um, make it as perfect for you as you realistically can. And you'll feel better. Uh, it certainly helped, helped me quite a bit. So... I will leave us with that. Um, I am thinking about you all. I really, really am. And I hope that this reaches whoever needs to hear it. So I'll see you in the next video.